Marnie Tuttle will be speaking first. So allow me to introduce Marnie Tuttle and their mover. Marnie, you're on. Uh, my name is Jennifer Montgomery, and I am delighted to be here this evening um, as the official mover for Marnie Tuttle. So friends, neighbors, and fellow Liberal Party members, um, it is a great joy to have been asked to nominate Marnie Tuttle for the candidacy for Fall River Waverly Beaver Bank in the next Nova Scotia provincial election. I don't want to take a ton of your time tonight because I know you really want to hear from Marnie herself but I was asked to share a couple of thoughts. A friend recently tweeted out, what do you look for in a politician? And I replied, the same thing I look for in a human. And that is why I'm here tonight to publicly nominate and offer my vote and my support to Marnie Tuttle. Politics and public life is a really tough space where people often forget that there's a lot more at stake than party policies and platforms that at the heart of the job is a community and the people who live and work there. Marnie is the kind of human who I know will put people and our community first. And I know this because she's been doing it for years. We won't say how many here. <laughs> for me, this next election is not about politics and it's not about parties. It's about electing a strong candidate for our community in Waverly, Fall River and Beaver Bank and about lifting up women who have the courage to put their names forward. We need more strong candidates in government. We need more diversity. We need more women. And if we are to have governments that are really going to represent all voices, Marnie is the strong voice. She is a woman who has stood for equity, equality, diversity, and inclusion and who understands the complexities of being a modern mom to modern young women. Marnie has done the work. She has volunteered for more hours than most of us could likely count. She has committed herself through her actions to improvements in progress locally and provincially, while still understanding the history and meaningful legacy of our communities and the organizations that are within them. As a neighbor, a carpool partner, a fellow skating mom, I could not be prouder to have been asked to officially nominate my friend, Skate Nova Scotia and Skate Canada volunteer, Goals Gone Wild co-founder, WJCC board member, LWF volunteer, and let's be honest, just a badass mom of four, Marnie Tuttle, to represent the Liberal Party on the ballot for our community in the next provincial election. So without further ado, I introduce you to Marnie. Thank you, Jennifer. That was really lovely. Um, I'm guessing a few of you know Barry Dalrymple. He was an HRM counselor and in 2012 was perceived as the absolute enemy of the Windsor Junction Community Center. When the Windsor Junction Community Center decided they needed someone to go toe to toe with Barry, they recruited me. It was a challenge. The WJCC had big problems. The board was too small. They couldn't get quorum for an AGM. There were financial issues, a half finished renovation and Barry, this incredibly difficult counselor. The community center is something that is important to me. I went there as a kid. It was my first summer job and the way that I paid for university. And to be perfectly honest, the place I was counting on to provide summer childcare for my kids for the next 13 years. So I signed up to help and pretty quickly became chair. I got to work right away. I recruited a new board and planned an AGM. It was an incredible group and a committed volunteer team. Together, we created a few really great fundraisers. We resolved the financial issues. We finished the renovation and celebrated a grand reopening with the trifecta of Barry, Bill Horn, and Percy Paris all in attendance. And through it all, Barry became a friend. Well, sometimes I'm not sure friend is the right word, but I made it on his list of people to call when there's a challenging situation to navigate. It was through Barry that I landed as Bill Horn's campaign manager for the last election. It was my pleasure to support Bill's election win. He has been a careful, considerate, and classy representative for our riding. So thank you, Bill, for your work, your advice, and your patience. I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for you. I hope you and Pam are able to enjoy the second attempt at retirement, and maybe it'll stick this time around. Your dedication to our communities has come at a cost to your wife and your daughters. So in acknowledging your efforts, I want to credit Pam and your family for their support as well. Thank you. So 
So when Bill told me he planned to retire, I expected to be here in a nomination race asking for your vote. But I didn't expect to be here in my house delivering the speech. COVID has changed everything. The next election, when it comes, we'll be choosing the team that will take us forward as a province. We're going to need people who can listen, people who are thoughtful, and people who can represent our communities at the table. Because what comes next is a new era in history. Maybe it'll be as memorable as the Roaring Twenties. But what I want it to be, and what I'm willing to work for it to be, is an inclusive era and an all-encompassing recovery. I want to work for recovery that sees the women who have left the workforce because of childcare and layoffs return to work and be paid what they deserve. Recovery that includes new Canadians and the Black and Mi'kmaq people of Nova Scotia sharing in the growth and the opportunities ahead for our province. A recovery that is thoughtful in taking care of our environment to meet and exceed the climate goals of our province and our country. It's about a recovery that sees us not just returning to what we were over a year ago, but looking to what we can be in two years and 10 years and 50 years from now. Because it matters what comes next. It matters to me and to you and to my daughters, Ada, Jane, Tess, and Kate, and my nephew, Sam and Felix, who, like me, all live in this riding. The recovery is more than the economy. It has to encompass the solutions we need in our community. We live in a unique area. We are neither truly suburban or truly rural. In our communities are families that go back generations and families who arrived just last year. Our response has to include them and the seniors who have made this riding their home, new families who have just discovered what a great place it is to live, and the youth who we want to stay here. I've worked with these groups on a small scale. I've listened to their needs and I've worked to address their concerns. My volunteer efforts include supporting the network of organizations that are the largest summer employer of youth in our riding. I've secured funding for important seniors projects meant to support people aging in place with dignity. I motivate women and underrepresented people to set their sights on higher profile and higher paying opportunities by teaching them how to network, sponsor and amplify each other for success. I'm working right now to build capacity for fundraising in the Preston and creating educational opportunities for Black and Mi'kmaq students without the barrier of required success in high school. On the environment, my husband Shane and I have made some significant choices. We bought an electric car, we installed solar panels, and once upon a time before green bins were a thing, composted with worms in our basement. There are people in this community, people on this call, who are making personal decisions to support their concerns and work on the issues that matter to them. They are working on improving our health care system, on supporting people navigating our mental health and senior care experience, on health and employment access for the 2S LGBTQ community, on active transportation, on charging stations for electric cars, on recreation opportunities for youth, and honestly, to create solutions to problems we haven't even identified yet. I want to work with you. That's why I'm asking for your vote next week. But it's not going to be easy. I know that sometimes it's, sometimes it's going to be a fight, and I have that experience too. As president of the Lakeview, Windsor Junction, Fall River Ratepayers Association, better known as the LWFRA, I had to go to bat time and time again for our community, keep the things we value. I learned that our community cares about each other, about you, about seniors, and about opportunities. You know what I'm ready for? I'm ready to listen to those problems, those ideas, and those solutions. I'm ready to fight when you need me to, and I'm ready to be your voice as we navigate a recovery that includes everyone and looks to a future that is better than the past. I'm ready to be your voice as a Liberal MLA in Waverly Fall River Beaver Bank. When you vote next week, choose me, Marnie Tuttle, as your candidate. Thank you.